she's right there in my ear Telling me that she wants to Introducing the only repair kit your toilet tank will ever need, the 400 AK by Fluidmaster. If you have toilets, you've probably had these problems. Old tank parts like these tend to have lots of faults. This old valve is corroded, causing noisy leaks. This flapper is so worn, it no longer aligns correctly. The flush lever is crooked and can't lift the tank ball or flapper and the gasket is deteriorated and won't seal properly. Tweaking or fiddling with old parts may help for a while, but the problems always return. Here's the long-lasting answer to all your toilet troubles, the complete repair kit by Fluidmaster. Since replacing almost any part requires that you drain the tank, it's probably wiser to replace multiple older parts at the same time. Every part needed for a complete toilet tank overhaul is right inside. This kit is a wise, economical choice when many parts need updating. Every complete toilet tank repair kit includes these parts. An anti-siphon fill valve. Now, this is America's best-selling fill valve. It's adjustable, saves water, and is engineered to supply years of flushes. A flush valve is also in the kit. This valve creates a new drain seat for the flapper to help end leaks at the tank drain. The flush valve has an adjust-to-flush flapper. This chlorine-resistant flapper dials to adjust water volume for a custom flush for even a 1.6-gallon toilet. Next, the SureFit chrome tank lever. It bends and trims to fit today's front, side, or angle mount tanks. Plus, new bolts, nuts, washers, and a universal gasket. Installing these parts is simple, even for beginners. Detailed instructions are included in every kit, but these are the basic steps. I've already turned off the water supply, flushed the tank dry, and removed the old parts, as well as taking the tank off the bowl. Installation begins with adjusting the height of the 400A fill valve to fit your tank by turning the threaded shank in or out of the valve body. Then position the valve in the water supply hole and tighten the lock nut. Now you're ready to install your new flush valve. Make sure the top of the overflow pipe is one inch below the critical level mark on the fill valve. The pipe can be cut if it's too tall. Place the valve over the drain and tighten the lock nut. The next step is the replacement of the tank's sponge rubber gasket, placing its small side down onto the threaded end of the flush valve. Once the flush valve and gasket are installed, it's time to replace the bolts. So you'll need two or three, depending on the design of your toilet. Insert bolts and washers into the tank. Now, reposition the tank over the bowl so the gasket fits evenly. Add washers and wing nuts, evenly tightened, to connect the tank to the bowl. Reconnect the water supply by threading the connector's coupling nut to the fill valve's shank. Now, attach the refill tube to the valve and the overflow pipe. The next step is the replacement of the tank lever. If the tank is a side or angle mount design, slowly bend the new lever to match the shape of the old lever. For front mount tanks, measure the old lever and, if necessary, trim the new one to match. Slide the new lever into the tank and then fasten the lock nut. Connect the flapper chain to the slot that provides the best lift. There should be some slack when the flapper is in the closed position. Now you're ready to select the ideal flush volume on the adjust-to-flush flapper. Simply rotate the flapper. The higher the number, the greater the flush volume. You're almost done. Now, turn on the water supply, set the desired water level by squeezing the adjustment clip, and your tank is ready to operate. I 
of significance Besides the shadow of a dream You sound like an old joke You're worn out A bit broken Asking me time and time again But the answer's still Your free subscription gets you immediate access to this story, this entire issue, and our feature archive of forward views, cutting edge stories.